Okay, Terry, hopefully you can hear me because the mic wasn't really working on my phone. Um, this little guy, I, I, I colored with Prismacolor, so I'm going to try doing the same thing with Polychromos, but I have to do it in pieces because um, my phone only has so much space. Space. Okay. <clears throat> so I used to start with the darkest color and I start doing like little circles. This is just the black. And then I take the next darkest color, which is a, a warm gray. And then I just kind of sort of go in and just blend it in together. Now, Christine Reynolds has a video out on YouTube that does, does it a different way, but unfortunately, I can't do it that way because I have arthritis on my thumb. So I have to add layers in light touch um, to keep my thumb from actually hurting. So I go in and I add a little bit more dark. Oh, these pencils are nice. And then I go in and blend these two good colors together. And then I take a lighter gray and then I kind of sort of work it into the center and just kind of getting light around the eyes. I don't want to cover the eyes too much. And that's kind of sort of where, I don't know, the focus of the, of the little guy is. Go back into it with the medium and blend these two colors together and then go back with the light. Okay. And that. Then, if you want, you could take Gamzol and you can blend it. And when I blend it, I kind of sort of dab it real careful and don't try to, because you don't want to lose the shading you just did. So you kind of just kind of work it very lightly. Peak is not good. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go in and get it a little bit more light. Blend it in a little bit better. And you keep working it until kind of sort of get it where you like and this is just the, the the bottom coat then I'll come back and add accents to it later I'll probably do this in little pieces like I said before because I only have so much room on my phone I don't want to dump all the pictures from my grandbaby off <laughs> it's my way I show him off <laughs> and then I kind of sort of put in some more dark and more blending that's good for now. And then I could do the nose because that's the same color. Start with the dark and then just work it to the light. Blend it in with the... You don't have to use the Gamzel when you when you blend. You can leave it. But, uh, you know, sometimes people don't like the pencil lines or the, the roughness of it. But it's a whole different look. So it's whatever you're looking for. The Gamzel just adds it a smooth, smooths it out a little bit and blends it. Isn't that cute? Okay, then um, I guess I did the tail. The tail's black. I, the, I started at the bottom with the dark, and there's no right or wrong way to do this. Just go with whatever you feel. Um, I try not to apply too many rules because you drive yourself nuts. So I just kind of go with the therapy. And then I pick the next color up. And then the next. Blend that out a little bit. And then back with the, the dark. This is pretty fast for me. I don't usually color this fast. I usually take my time, but I at least want to get this part in before the phone cuts out. So what I'll do is I'll upload this video as part one and then delete it off my phone and then I'll do the second one 
and I just don't have the professional YouTube stuff to do all this. So I apologize and I lost my stump. Okay, so blend that all in. And again, we could always go back and add more color. And then the little nails are, are black. So I'll go in and, I mean, you don't even have to blend this out with the, you know, with the, the stump. Okay, so that's kind of sort of the base coat. As you can see, there's a difference. I added more color on this one than I went in and added some white highlights. But I'll continue working this um, when, I, when I finish the image, when I have the whole thing done, then I'll come back and add more color. So I hope that gets you started, and we'll see how this works, okay? Thanks again, dear.